With MCP expanding into new use cases and new servers popping up every day, it helps to look at them through the lens of how they fit into your software development lifecycle. If you're working on multiple projects at the same time, it can be easy to lose track of how MCP fits into each phase of your project. Let's start with listing some popular MCPs in Klein and how they fit into each coding tasks that we might need in Klein. For core development tools, GitHub MCP, Contact7, Sequential Thinking, for file and database operations, file system MCP, SQLite, Postgres SQL MCP, for web and searches, Brave Search MCP, Puppeteer and Perplexity, for web scraping and browser automation, Firecrawl and Playwright MCP, for communication, Slack MCP and Discord MCP, for cloud and infrastructure, AWS MCP, Azure Services MCP, Kubernetes MCP, and for productivity, Notion MCP, Google Drive, and Atlassian MCP. As you can see, even this very small list showed the tip of the iceberg in how much MCPs have grown in adoption and also to the extent that MCPs can potentially fit into your setup. And given how you and your team manage your software development lifecycle, organizing MCPs in this way can help identify how each MCPs can fit into your coding workflow. For example, one of the most practical ways that people get started with MCPs in Klein is using Context7 and Perplexity. Context7 gives gives Klein direct access to latest coding documentation while Perplexity functions as a research tool, essentially allowing Klein to make queries and pull in information that isn't already inside the LLM's training data. This combination means Klein can now browse the web when he is troubleshooting any obscure errors that you might encounter in your code base and also give high quality and up-to-date documentation that Context7 use. Enabling communication for Klein using Slack or Discord MCP is also popular where you can now equip Klein to send Slack messages on your behalf at various parts of the workflow. For example, you can pair up GitHub MCP and Slack MCP to ask Klein, make a pull request for a new feature, and message Nick in Slack reminding him for a code review. Outside of generic MCPs that help coding workflows in general, there are MCPs that could fit directly into your tech stack. For example, if you are mostly a Microsoft shop, you can search for Azure Services MCP, and if you use Atlassian for managing projects and Google Drive to manage files. So whether your use case for MCP is more horizontal, meaning they work across almost any software development lifecycle, or vertical, meaning they are for specific use cases like Azure and AWS, organizing MCPs for your specific coding use can help you use Klein more effectively. 